Welcome to the 2021 Arts and Culture Awards presented by the Town of Orangeville. I'm Wayne Townsend and I'm here again acting as your host for this special occasion. I look forward to this event every year. It's always been a pleasure to see the community together, even virtually, to recognize the people who produce and support arts and culture in Dufferin County. We're surrounded by incredible talent and dedication in this region and tonight we get to showcase it. This year marks the 12th anniversary of the Arts and Culture Awards. Over 80 award winners and hundreds of nominees have been celebrated during that time. Tonight, we'll recognize and honor an impressive collection of 32 individuals, businesses, and organizations. The caliber of the nominations this year is outstanding and truly demonstrates the strength of our community's creative sector. Despite the many challenges of the past year, each nominee has persevered and found ways to continue to share their talents. In addition to being creative, they've also had to innovate and adjust. There will be eight award winners announced tonight. Recipients of each award were chosen by a panel of four judges from outside of Dufferin County. The selection process was not an easy task this year, and the judges were amazed by the talent in Dufferin County. Tonight, eight awards are being presented including five individual awards, established artist, emerging artist, student artist, arts educator, community arts volunteer. You'll see me again for that one. We're also going to present community impact by a business, community impact by an organization, and creative cultural event. The awards will be presented by talented individuals who have been recognized with the same awards in the past. Each presentation was filmed in a different location, so tonight's show will give you the opportunity to take a virtual tour around Orangeville. You'll visit shops, studios, and other creative locations in our community where art really happens. We hope this local journey will inspire you all to appreciate the vibrancy of our creative sector. With that, I'd like to invite you to sit back and enjoy the show. Now, I'd like to introduce you to Councillor Lisa Post, the Chair of the Cultural Plan Task Force. Welcome to the 2021 Arts and Culture Awards. Thank you for joining us as we celebrate the accomplishments of this year's nominees. These annual awards offer a unique opportunity to recognize the immense talent of local artists and honor the vital contributions of educators, volunteers, businesses, and organizations in our community. To all award nominees, a special welcome and congratulations. Thank you for offering your time and talent to creating such a vibrant, creative sector in our region. Welcome also to the friends, family, and community members who have joined us tonight to celebrate arts and culture in Orangeville and Dufferin County. A special thank you to the members of the Cultural Plan Task Force, Radina Montgomery, Donna Henderson, David Nairn, Allison Scheel, and Peter Ross. I would also like to thank Joan Hope of Dragonfly Arts on Broadway for sourcing this year's awards, and artist Catherine Thompson for creating these stunning pieces. I look forward to presenting each winner with their award in a safe, socially distanced manner. For a second year, we've adapted the awards presentation and created an online experience for you to safely enjoy. This format gives us a chance to explore more of Orangeville's creative spaces while sharing our community's talent with a very wide audience. It also emphasizes the continuing need to celebrate arts and culture despite the challenges of the past months. It's an important and valuable initiative. Our arts and culture community locally and across the nation have shown resiliency. When faced with COVID-19 in 2020, they persevered. They learned new ways to teach their craft, to engage the community and to share their beauty. And now in 2021, some of these businesses haven't had their doors open in over 18 months. Some instructors haven't taught a student in person in that long. And yet look at these incredible nominees. They continue to fight to keep arts and culture alive and relevant through some of the most trying times we've ever seen. They continue to ensure that the fabric of our community is woven with culture and beauty. So let's celebrate tonight. Celebrate these nominees, their families, their supporters, their students, and the purchasers of their art. That's what keeps our arts and culture community thriving. Now I invite all of you to follow along as we recognize this year's nominees and announce the award winners. Enjoy the presentation. This is Dragonfly Arts on Broadway, a shop and studio space in the heart of downtown Orangeville. I am one of 200 Canadian artists whose work is featured in this unique store. The owner, Joan Hope, has a talent for curating an incredible selection of artwork. This is the perfect spot to present this year's award for established artist. 
I was honored to win this award last year and I am looking forward to announcing the nominees for 2021. The Established Artist of the Year award honors an established artist in our community with an extensive body of work or who has achieved a wide degree of recognition. And the nominees are nominee Amelia Perry. Amelia Perry is a prolific painter, art teacher and business owner living in Dufferin County. A graduate of OCAD and an avid traveler, she has used both her education and experiences to shape her work throughout her career. For the last 20 years, she has been working in an abstract expressive painting style, building up layers of transparent and solid paint to create a look of weathering or time passing. Her most recent works are large, bright representations of landscapes and structures found in nature. For the last 25 years, Amelia has also owned and operated Maggioli Art Supplies. Whether she's teaching or painting, Amelia is constantly creating art, a process that she absolutely loves. Nominee, Wendy Reed. Wendy Reed is a contemporary fine artist and owner of Art Haven Studio and Gallery. She has been painting with the muse and magic of watercolor media for more than 30 years. She uses this medium to express her love of flora, fauna, people, and landscapes. She chooses colors that are abstract to the subject matter, and she enjoys creating many layers in her pieces. Wendy is also an instructor and participates in Artists in the School program run by the Dufferin Arts Council. Nominee, Deb Mankin. Deb Mankin is a self-taught artist working in acrylic and mixed media, painting mostly from her imagination. Although she is, considers herself to be an abstract, semi-abstract artist, a recent commissioned project allowed her to extend her talent to create more contemporary landscapes. She is an active member of Headwaters Arts and has participated in a number of jury shows. She is exploring and learning, loving every minute of her artistic journey. And the winner is Amelia Perry. Still get nervous when you walk in the room All you do is look my way And I'm falling in love all over with you I know I've got a fickle heart And running tendencies And I'd never ask you to wait for me but When I think of you And the whole world fades A single breath is all it takes You took my hand in yours And said oh, all you have to do Is trust me and follow my lead you Spin me around and hang around Like we were the only ones dancing In this room You saint the tequila talking bay. All the courage I'm trying to perfect Ooh, But because of you I found a love I won't Be letting go of My name is Sarah Rose and that was my song Dancing off of my album We Could Be Beautiful Today I'm sitting on the Opera House stage located in Orangeville's historic town hall Although it has been much quieter here over the past year this beautiful space continues to be one of our community's favorite gathering places for enjoying the arts. In 2019, I won the award for Emerging Artist, and I'm happy to be back this year to announce these three nominees. Nominee Arlo Sun. Arlo Sun is the new musical project of accomplished singer-songwriter Aaron Bolton. Arlo Sun writes, produces, and performs off-kilter folk songs full of depth and emotion. She has been performing regularly in and around Dufferin County and the GTA for over 10 years. During the pandemic, she performed 90 shows as part of a daily live stream series called Concert for Your Quarantine. She is working towards her debut record as Arlo Sun with plans to release it in late 2021. Nominee, Andrew MacArthur. Andrew MacArthur is a singer-songwriter and self-taught multi-instrumentalist from Orangeville. He lends his musical talents to various bands in the community, playing a variety of instruments, including bass, guitar, piano, drums, as well as vocals. 
As well as being an accompanist, Andrew writes, records, and produces his own music. In July 2021, Andrew released a four-track EP called Brush, a collection of soothing indie rock jams that Andrew performed and recorded entirely on his own. Nominee Adam Thompson. Adam Thompson launched a business selling t-shirts featuring designs that he colored himself. He was motivated to start his business during the pandemic because he wanted to find a way to creatively express his feelings while spreading happiness. Adam has produced three different styles of shirts with colored images on them, all bearing the words, be kind, be calm, be safe. Adam is proud to use his art to nurture his spirit and his business to connect with people. And the winner is Arlo Sun. Welcome to Pottery Party Studio. We're a fired art studio located downtown Orangeville. And this is a creative space where you can make your own ceramics. Many of the pieces available here are functional, everyday items that are transformed into bright, vibrant pieces of art. Many of our clients are young artists, full of ideas and creativity. So it's fitting that I'm here to announce the nominees for Student Artist. This award honors a young emerging student artist in the community who is currently studying full-time. Nominee, Haley Marfleet. Haley Marfleet is entering her third year of visual and creative arts program at Sheridan College. Throughout her education, she has been recognized many times for her artwork. She earned three visual arts awards when she graduated from Westside Secondary School. She has also contributed to many community projects with her art. Nominee, Marco Cato. Marco Cato has been playing piano since she was five and her creative talent has continued to flourish since she was a young age. She is a piano and voice student at Tritone Music Studios and began teaching her own students this year. Marco also plays guitar, dances, and has a strong passion for theater. She was accepted into the drama program at Mayfield Regional Arts and is excited to continue her study of the arts. Nominee, Katrina Creelman. Katrina Creelman has been involved in the town of Orangeville's art scene since she was 11 years old. She's a regular on the Theatre Orangeville stage, starring in 12 productions before the age of 17. Katrina is also an active volunteer and social advocate. She has worked with creative partners on stage, Theatre Orangeville Youth Advisory Committee, and helped to host youth-focused events with the Orangeville Public Library. Katrina is an aspiring playwright currently studying cultural studies at Trent University. And the winner is Katrina Creelman. Secondary School. I'm Krista Davison, music teacher and program leader of the arts here at Westside. I was honored to be selected as the Arts Educator of the Year in 2019 and I'm delighted to be here again to celebrate this year's nominees. March 13th, 2020 brought about unforeseeable change that no one in their wildest dreams would have ever anticipated. COVID-19. The education system in particular was impacted in that delivering our programs in a traditional manner was on hold. Although challenging at times, our art, drama and music teachers, like all teachers who rose to the challenge, created engaging and meaningful lessons for our students. The arts have been part of humanity for the dawn of time and not even a pandemic can stop an artist. Never wavering or compromising their craft, arts educators continue to motivate and inspire their pupils. The Arts Educator Award honors a teacher, instructor, or arts specialist whose creative use of the arts enriches the learning experience of students. This year's nominees are Nominee Tiffany McCabe. Tiffany McCabe is a registered social worker and art therapist. Her work centers around leading others through a healing journey using art. Since 2016, Tiffany has provided monthly art therapy to palliative and bereaved clients at Hospice Dufferin. 
She shares her creative talent to help youth, adults, and seniors explore their experiences in a different way. She has had many clients leave a session with a new understanding of how they can use art to heal. Tiffany also has a private practice in Shelburne called the Creative Social Worker. Nominee Tyler Reed. Tyler Reed is a creative force. He plays acoustic and electric guitar, bass, upright bass, drums, and ukulele. He is also a songwriter and a freelance musician, but most importantly, Tyler is a teacher. He has been teaching at Tritone Music Studios for the past 10 years and has been recognized with many community awards for his work. He is a dedicated teacher who tailors his lessons to the needs of every student and actively participates in all performance opportunities. Tyler has also written and recorded solo work. Nominee Anne Randerad. Anne Randerad has been a passionate clay artist, illustrator and arts educator for more than 25 years. Her intense love of art and creativity is more than just a career, it's her lifestyle. She is a dedicated arts educator who nurtures the creative spirit in each student, gently guiding them to success. She teaches students of all ages and offers both mobile and home studio workshops and lessons. Anne also manages Empty Bowls Headwaters, an annual fundraiser that draws attention to food insecurity in the region. Nominee Jada Milne Doucette. Jada started her career as a graphic designer and professional artist. Over the last 12 years, she has shared her knowledge through art lessons. She started her business Art with Jada in 2011, and she has taught many young artists in the community over the years. In June 2019, Jada opened her own studio and has expanded twice, offering two studio spaces with a fun and relaxed environment to get creative. Nominee Ricky Shade. Ricky is a local award-winning artist and art instructor. He has been teaching at Maggioli Arts since 2014 and leads a variety of classes, camps, and private lessons for both children and adults. When teaching, Ricky aims to share fundamental and technical knowledge of art in a way that creates space for personal self-expression and creativity. Ricky has also participated in DARE Arts and Deprin Arts Council's Artist in the Schools program. He is the co-founder of Club Art Orangeville, a project whose mandate is to provide a safe, inspiring space for local youth to create and share. And the winner is Tiffany McKay. I'm back, but this time I have the honor of presenting an award. Last year, I graciously accepted the award for Community Arts Volunteer. So I know firsthand how great it is for volunteers to be recognized for the work that they do. On behalf of our community, I'm here to delightfully say thank you to this year's nominees. The criteria for this award was expanded this year. It honors an individual who has advocated for or contributed to the arts and culture of our community through volunteer service or donations of time or creative talent. The nominees are Christina Clare. Christina Clare is a local busy artist who also finds time to contribute to her community and add her artistic flair to many local projects. She's an active member of the Optimist Club of Orangeville, volunteering her time for annual events like Christmas in the Park. This year, she also led a call for youth artists. Children living in Orangeville were invited to submit artwork to be displayed on 13 benches in the beautiful Casey Gardens. Christina's artwork is featured in Orangeville's public art program, appearing on four utility boxes and one mural. Each piece demonstrates her desire to promote and support art in her community. The second nominee is Diane Bader. Diane Bader is a familiar face to many in Orangeville and she takes on many different roles in the community. But in each one, she finds ways to foster and support the artists and organizations who contribute to this region's creative offerings. As the box office manager and group sales coordinator at Theatre Orangeville, she's well connected to the theatre's contributors and the audiences. Diane is also an author, storyteller, writer and book coach. She often volunteers her time with the Orangeville Public Library, presenting her work and offering guidance to the audiences. The next nominee is Jim Waddington. 
Jim is a photographer who captures the people, places, events, and happenings of Orangeville through his work. He has an active social media presence where he shares his photography as well as community events and news with his 2,400 followers. Often seen as the man behind the lens, Jim's unwavering support of the arts and culture in this community extends beyond his photography skills. He's an active community member for Celebrate Your Awesome and a supporter of the LGBTQ2S plus community in Dufferin County. The next nominee is Nikki Caruana. Nikki Caruana is a local artist who is building her portfolio of paintings. Through the pandemic, she used her art to connect with her community by giving pieces to people who were celebrating special occasions or needed comfort. She also volunteered her time to organize International Art and Found Day right here in Dufferin County. Over 20 local artists placed free artwork in public spaces on March the 12th, 2021. Those who found the art were invited to keep it and enjoy it. The project helped local artists reach new audiences while sharing creativity with the entire community. And the winner is Jim Waddington. I'm Allison Malcolm, and this is Art Exploration, the mobile studio bus. It's a place where friends and family get to create and have fun. Last year, Art Exploration won the Community Impact by a Business Award. This year's list of six nominees is impressive and showcases the creative talent of our local businesses. The award honors a business that fosters and supports arts and culture in our community. The 2021 nominees are Nominee Branching Out Support Services. Branching Out Support Services, known as BOSS, serves people who have developmental differences, neurodiversities, and complex mental health challenges. Because of its well-known advocacy of art, youth, and social justice in our community, the business was asked to support the installation of a mural created by the Glow Youth Group, operating out of the Dufferin Child and Family Services. The team at BOSS work closely with many community partners to install the artwork. The colorful piece makes a bold statement in downtown Orangeville, thanks to its prominent location. Nominee, Music Together of Orangeville, is a music and movement program for children zero to five years old and their families. Pamela Scott Demetrio has been running the program for seven years and continues to evolve the business based on the needs of her audience. During the pandemic, free classes were held online to give families a way to entertain their children, and when it was permitted, classes were held in large outdoor spaces. Music Together of Orangeville collaborates with many local businesses and uses music to support and contribute to the community in many ways. Nominee, Old Mill Hub. Old Mill Hub is a commercial property located in downtown Orangeville that's undertaking a rebranding process with an objective to become an arts and culture hub for the community. Many of the property's tenants are arts-based businesses offering art lessons, pottery classes, karate lessons, tattoo services, and hairstyling. To complement these businesses, the property's hallway space has been transformed into the Elspeth Art Gallery. Local artists can display their work at no cost while leveraging an opportunity to share their work with a new audience. Property manager Marshall Bocheco hopes the transformation will allow the space to contribute to the community's arts and culture scene. Nominee, Art of Eight Martial Arts Academy. Art of Eight Martial Arts Academy offers a family-friendly, community-centered approach to martial arts. Art of Eight teaches Muay Thai, a form of martial arts with a rich culture. The classes are a visual representation of strength and diversity, where people from all cultural and social backgrounds are able to learn and grow together. The Academy constantly makes improvements to ensure that a culture of openness, equality, respect and growth are always at the forefront. Nominee, True Nature Media. True Nature Media specializes in creative photography and videography for artists, musicians, and entrepreneurs. This year, owner Sarah May took on a variety of new creative projects. She produced virtual art classes for children at Maggioli's Arts and online events like Celebrate Your Awesome. She also directed the videography and editing for Theatre Orangeville Presents Online, a series of virtual performances that allowed the local theatre to continue to offer arts to its audiences through the pandemic. Sarah is also a musician who devotes time to supporting fellow musicians with her talent and services. Nominee, 
Tritone Music Studios. Tritone Music Studios is a strong supporter of arts in our community. This past year, owner Heather Holmes and her team worked tirelessly to reduce the impact of the pandemic on their students. The studio seamlessly transitioned to a virtual lessons and even took on new students to give more people access to music during the difficult time. The popular annual recitals also shifted to a virtual format, providing families with a way to appreciate and celebrate the music created by their children. In a world full of uncertainty and darkness, Tritone Music Studios use the power of music to bring light to its community. And the winner is Old Mill Hub. Welcome to KC Gardens. This is one of Orangeville's most creative outdoor spaces. Every year, the Optimist Club of Orangeville hosts Christmas in the Park here. It's become an annual tradition and the community loves seeing the bright lights and displays every year. Throughout the park, you also find utility boxes that have been transformed into works of art. Soon, the benches will also be covered in art created by local youth. It's also a great place to present this year's award for the community impact by an organization. The Optimist Club of Orangeville won this award last year for its work in the community and we are honored to announce this year's nominees. The first nominee is the Rotary Club of Orangeville Highlands. The Rotary Club of Orangeville Highlands helps to raise money and awareness for local and international causes. Taste of Autumn is one of their main annual fundraising events. Unable to hold the event in 2020, the club searched for innovative ways to raise funds and decided to offer a series of videos featuring local chefs preparing some of their favorite dishes. The club raised over $10,000 with the six episode Virtual Chef series. This year's events will follow the same format. The club is honored to contribute to the arts and culture of Orangeville while helping to meet urgent community needs. The second nominee, Glow Youth Group. Glow Youth Group is a social and support group that has been available for LGBTQ2S plus youth aged 11 to 18 in Dufferin County for 23 years. This year, the group led the Crystal Queer Mural Project. The project was created during the pandemic when many of the youth were facing increased isolation and mental health challenges. The mural was installed in June, 2021 and demonstrates how collaboration, hope, and connection can all be communicated through art. The third nominee is Westminster United Church. Westminster United Church is a historic property in the heart of Orangeville. The sanctuary enjoys a well-deserved reputation for quality music programming and has hosted a variety of festivals, choruses, concerts, and presentations. Recent renovations include an updated auditorium, fully equipped with audio-visual technology and a new fully inspected commercial kitchen. Although the completion of the renovations coincided with the beginning of the pandemic, the church is poised and ready to invite people to use the facilities as soon as the restrictions are lifted. The facilities at Westminster United Church offer endless opportunities to explore, engage and enjoy arts and culture events in Orangeville. Fourth nominee, Orangeville Business Improvement Area. Throughout the pandemic, the Orangeville Business Improvement Area worked to support local businesses by providing safe, social distance activities the public, for the public to enjoy, promotional videos, seasonal displays, family-friendly activities, and a new interactive mural encouraged the community to visit the downtown area. Large-scale events, such as the Winter Market, Farmer's Market and tree lighting ceremony were also adapted to adhere to pandemic protocols while contributing to the cultural fabric of the town. And the fifth nominee, Valley Alive. The Valley Alive project was made possible by the County of Dufferin Economic Development Fund grant and aims to strengthen existing community networks by supporting the collaboration of groups, organizations, residents within Grand Valley and the surrounding neighborhoods. The project focuses on branding the area and encouraging people to stay and explore. And the winner is Orangeville Business Improvement Area.
Kentucky Shade and welcome to my home studio. Last year, I was honored to win the award for creative cultural event for my beautiful wild art exhibit. All of the pieces featured in that show were created right here in this space. The award for creative cultural event honors an exhibit, performance, festival, or other event that promoted and or contributed to arts and culture in our community. This year, there are three nominees for this award. Celebrate Your Awesome. Since 2018, Celebrate Your Awesome has offered the community a fun, family-friendly event that celebrates everyone's differences. After two successful live events in 2018 and 2019, the pandemic forced Celebrate Your Awesome to adapt its plans and offer virtual versions of the popular festival. In August, the online event was hosted in partnership with Theatre Orangeville. The pre-recorded show featured local musicians, drag queens, and performers. New this year, the awesome virtual human library was also presented in partnership with the Orangeville Public Library. Plans are in place for a live Celebrate Your Awesome event in 2022. Music in the Hills. Music in the Hills was a festival held on June 25th with a goal to, to support suicide awareness and prevention initiatives in Dufferin County. The inaugural one-day event was held at the Mansfield Ski Club in Mono and was offered as a drive-in style concert. The festival sold out in days and featured Juno award-winning musician Jim Cuddy and his band the Jim Cuddy Trio, as well as musician Woody Woodburn and singer-songwriter Sohala Smith. The event helped raise more than $14,000 with 100% of proceeds going towards local programs. The 2022 event is scheduled for June 24th. Downtown Orangeville Holiday Events The Orangeville Business Improvement Area, or OBIA, has been hosting large-scale holiday events for decades. This year, popular traditions like Moonlight Magic, the tree lighting, and the tractor parade of lights weren't possible because of the pandemic. So, the OBIA found new ways to deliver holiday magic to the community. The tree lighting ceremony was transformed into a video event, and new initiatives included the Holiday Lights Extravaganza and a Starlight Shopping promotion. Both events gave residents many reasons to safely visit and shop downtown. The holiday season was made brighter thanks to the efforts of the OBIA. And the winner is Celebrate Your Awesome! Congratulations to all winners and nominees of the 2021 Arts and Culture Awards. Your creativity and dedication are such important assets for our community. Thank you for sharing your time and talent with all of us. To everyone for joining us for this year's celebration, thank you for being part of our online audience. This virtual format creates a unique opportunity to showcase our region's talent beyond our local borders. Whether you're watching in Orangeville or from further afield, we appreciate your support. I hope you're enjoying discovering our community's wealth of creative talent. Special thank you to our MC, Wayne Townsend, for lending his own creative presence and community spirit to the event. Thank you also to each award presenter and business owner who contributed to this event and helped to showcase the diversity of Orangeville arts and cultural sector. The arts and cultural community gives Orangeville its creative soul. Once again, thank you to all for your support of arts and culture in Orangeville.